Vocal cords can be examined comfortably with a direct visualization technique. One must aim at tunnel view of the esophagus to note the transmitted cardiac pulsation and peristaltic movement. Spend more time at the lower end of the esophagus and across the GE junction to diagnose hiatus, esophagitis and ecclesia cardia. On entry into the stomach, tuck the endoscope along the lesser curvature by turning the bigger valve. You will be noting the incisor of the stomach and further down the pylorus. Negotiating across the pylorus, one need to develop eye hand coordination. Now you are watching the first part of the duodenum, which is featureless. Entry into the second part of the duodenum is possible on turning the body to the right along with the axis of the endoscope and bigger will up and smaller will to the right. Entry into the third part of the duodenum as you are watching with difficulty is possible by turning the body to the left, bigger will down and smaller will to the left. Coming back to the antrum, do the J maneuver by turning the bigger will up to examine the fundus of the stomach. Examine the stomach carefully and thoroughly. On your left will be the anterior wall of the stomach. On your right will be the posterior wall of the stomach. Up will be the lesser curvature and down will be the greater curvature. Pliability of the mucosal pores can be appreciated on deflating the stomach. Do not forget to suck the air while you are withdrawing the endoscope. 